Hi, this is Wayne Zell with Blueprint for Wealth's Educational Moment. Today, we're going to talk about what is a management buyout? This topic is featured in my new book, Your Multi-Million Dollar Exit, which is an Amazon bestseller and available, of course, on Amazon. Take a gander at the book, buy it, give us a five-star review. We would really appreciate it. We're going to talk about what a management buyout is, why it's a good thing to have, or maybe a bad thing to have, and what are the risks associated with it. A management buyout, also known as an MBO, is when you give your company's leadership the ability to work together to purchase all or most of your ownership interest in your business. There are advantages and disadvantages. Some of the advantages are that the managers know the business. They know your suppliers and vendors. And of course, they know your clients or your customers. They may have good thoughts, creative thoughts on how to grow the business. And if they've invested their own capital, they have skin in the game, they'll be more motivated to make the business more profitable than it is currently. You can retain a minority stake, although that's usually the exception rather than the rule. Disadvantages of MBOs include the fact that the managers typically lack sufficient capital to afford the ability to buy, your, buy out your interest. They may lack your force of personality, your charisma that led you to build the business as strong as it is today. And you may not get paid back because they could drive the business downward and not be able to afford to pay you back on the note that you've given them. So there are risks associated with a management buyout. The longer it takes to pay off the purchase price, the greater the risk to you as the seller. So if you give them a promissory note that they owe you for buying out your interest in the business, and it's more than three or four years in duration, and you have to wait, say, 10 years to get paid back, you may not get paid back. To compensate for this risk, you might require a significant initial deposit, whereas they might, may not give you a deposit in many cases. In this case, you may demand a 25%, 30%, or even 40% deposit to sell the business to your management team. You may demand a higher interest rate to uh, essentially compensate you for the increased risk. It may require, should require, pledges of their interests in the business that they're buying from you. It may require a pledge of company assets. The question is whether your bank will allow that to happen. And you also may demand that they give you a mortgage on their real estate or other personal assets. And of course, you would be wise to ask for personal guarantees from your management team if they're buying out your interest. So in conclusion, don't sell your business to your managers unless you know that they're dedicated to the success of the business in the long run and they can afford to pay you back. Again, this topic is featured in your multi-million dollar exit, the Entrepreneur's Business Succession Planner, a blueprint for wealth guide on Amazon, available now.